we take a, a cascading approach towards moving somebody from a maximum security context th through medium, minimum, and into the community. And is for some individuals, that also involves going to uh, a, a resource in the community that has a greater degree of um, care and services. In the province, there are six forensic outpatient clinics. They're located in Prince George, Kamloops, Nanaimo, Victoria, Surrey, and Vancouver. It's helpful to have the six clinics throughout the province because then we can continue care for clients in their home region, no matter where that is within the province. When a patient is released from the hospital, uh, they would have an appointment here and see their new treatment team, uh, which consists of a psychiatrist and a case manager, which might be a nurse or a social worker here at the clinic. We would have them in for an initial appointment before they're released from hospital, and then they would come in and meet with the new treatment team. We would uh, continue with their medication, so that's the psych psychiatric support there. And then the case manager would assist with other things such as housing if, if that was uh, something that they needed, um, and just general support for them. We have the clients while they're under their review board order. Uh, while they're on visit leave, they're still um, usually on a custody order. If their visit leave has been going well in the community, then they might get a conditional discharge, which is similar to a probation order. So they would have a number of conditions and we're supervising that order while they're in the community. Then when that person has maybe been in the community and stable for a long period of time, eventually the review board might give them an absolute discharge. Once that happens, they're no longer under us, but we would certainly make sure that they're attached to another service, whatever is appropriate for them, before closing their file here. Uh, for some clinics that don't have as much psychiatric support as we do down here in the Lower Mainland, um, the telehealth system is a, a great way where psychiatrists can be down here and view clients over the video and they're able to do assessments and treatment over the video system. For people who are in very remote areas. We really try to, to liaise with local services as well and that's part of the role of the clinics is to try and get clients back into their home communities and accessing community resources. Um, so at the time when they might get an absolute discharge they're back in their home community and they're already accessing local mental health resources so that might include a local mental health team or a local psychiatrist. When we can help somebody who are sadly afflicted and challenged, challenged with mental illness as well as burdened with the criminal justice system problems towards health and safe uh, reintegration into society. It's very, very rewarding. My goal every day is to, is to educate uh, as many people as I come into contact with uh, to try and dispel some of the, the myths and the stereotypes around the people that we deal with. And so it's just to uh, support hope for, for patients and for their families. There's a great reward in, in seeing that client leave the hospital successfully and knowing that you played a role in, in helping make that happen. Our hope uh, for those clients is that they will reintegrate back into the community again and have good supports in the community and that their mental health will remain stable and that they will have a good life, that they will have joy in their life and they will have good relationships with friends and family. Well, when you work in the helping profession, that is the most gratifying part, is, is to put a smile on, on the patient's face and, and, and give them a sense of hope for the future.